Let's preview this animation. So I get nice map dot bounces here. So while I like this animation, what I do want to do is I don't want them to play all at the same time, but I don't want them to play one at a time the way they are now. So what I'm going to do is group these together and then I'm going to set a delay on them of just a little bit. So I'll get this effect of all of them sort of playing at the same time, but taking just a little bit longer before they start. So let's come over to the timing panel and in the timing panel, you'll see all of the buttons that have animations on them for the spread going to hold shift and select all of these and I'm going to go to the linking tool and I'm going to link all these together. So what I'm telling InDesign again is I want all of these to play at the same time. Then I'm going to go through and set a delay for each one under this delay piece. So while the animations will all be triggered to play at the same time, there will be a certain amount of time that each one will wait before they play. And I'm going to use a 0.1 delay increment for each one. So the first one Seattle's going to play in zero delay. Palmas is going to play with 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and 0.5. So they're each going to take one tenth of a second longer than the previous one to play. Now let's hit play. So now I get this really sort of nice fluid. They do go one at a time, but they start just a little bit, one tenth of a second behind each other, and they each take one second to play. So while the first one's bouncing, one tenth of a second later, the second one starts bouncing, and the third one and fourth one, and by the time we get to the fourth one, the first one, Seattle, is halfway through its animation. So then we get this multi-items on the page sort of animating at the same time, all bouncing and giving us this real sort of little playful look.